What's poppin' y'all? It's Triller from the 615. Um, as always, I do mixing and mastering. So if you want your tracks mixed, you got to email me at this email right here. Now, track out your vocals. Somebody just sent it the other day. Track out your vocals. No effects, no, not, not even a transition, just raw vocals. Track them out stem by stem, which is track by track. I ain't gonna, you can look up a video on how to do it. Track by track, and I will definitely mix and master that for you and get it back to you. I just do it for free just because, you know, I want to get my hands, my, my, my knee, get, get knee deep into the little mixing and mastering shit so I can start back up with it. So anyway, let's move on. Um, Let's just move on to this little uh MacBook right here. So this nigga right here, and no offense to this nigga, but his head look like a knuckle, apparently molested this girl right here, kid. Now, it was some stuff going on a couple months ago. I seen a couple videos. I didn't really, I didn't care too much to really watch it or really, I, I, I kind of watched a little of it. You know, he denied it, but she posted a video of her taking a lot of tech to test and she passed it. So not to, not to say that he actually molested her, molested the kid, but she passed a lot of tech to test. So here it is. I was accused of making this disgusting story up because I supposedly was this bitter ex-girlfriend. But no, stop playing with my name. I simply am a mother standing up for her child, period. I would never let someone ruin my reputation and my name. Nor would I ever flat lie like that on my in on the internet. With the help of my attorney, I spent 1500 of my own money and went to Dr. John Palmatier, PhD, the very person who is writing our current textbooks based off of his own research for polygraph tests. Google him. He's official. And sitting with him over four hours, my results came back 99.6% truthful. I have cleared my name. Everything else would be handled with the courts. So she really serious about this shit. Now, not to say that she lying, but if she lying, God damn, you going this far, pay 1500 to the doctor and the shit. Now you doing all this, you must really believe this shit. And again, for a motherfucker say, I'm not saying that dude didn't do the shit because nobody really knows but the kid and the dude because she wasn't there she said her son told her this shit nobody knows but the kid and this and, and duty low dude whatever fuck this nigga name is knucklehead now let's just read a little more a nigga can claim their innocence all day long but it's the actions you look at and since he's so willing to do the lie take the test i did my part what's your excuse let's see now let's just skim down here what she said my baby told me this man sexually assaulted him and i will continue to fight for my son's justice yes. knucklehead i don't know if you did this or not man but if you did it man ain't nobody gonna respect that shit man they could come on you touch your kids and shit if he is i ain't saying he is or you did didn't but man why would she lie about this man it's so many cases that just out and it just weird like the whole megan and style you shooting shit like why are y'all really that weird out there that y'all just lying on shit? Because both of y'all can't be telling the truth. Somebody lying around this motherfucker. Somebody lying. Well, knucklehead, I guess we'll see. It's Triller from the 615.